Hey everyone, today we're going to talk about type 3 nomenclature. Now type 3 nomenclature is a lot different than the ionic nomenclature of type 1 and type 2, but there are some similarities to it. I think you'll find that it's a lot easier and uh, it's something that you'll be able to get through very relatively quickly and just hopefully do well on the test that we have. So type 3 nomenclature. Type 3 nomenclature, and we're going to do binary and binary only, so we're only talking about two elements. But the thing about uh, type 3 is that it is covalent compounds, which means that they're going to share the electrons, which also means that both elements are above the staircase. So if we look at our uh, periodic table, we can see our staircases right here. Remember, it goes all the way over to hydrogen over here. So it's going to be combined of these ones that are above the staircase. So we're going to have compounds above the staircase, that are getting together. So there's really not too many of them above the staircase compared to anything else. So the first one will always be a nonmetal. And that's one of the ways that we can tell it apart from some of the other ones. So we have uh, our type 3 nomenclature. It is covalent. So let's go ahead and go down to the rules. So here are our rules. So type 3 no uh, nomenclature is a nonmetal and a nonmetal that is going to hook up. And we're going to name it as though it was ionic though, which basically means binary ionic, which we're gonna say the name of the first element and we're gonna put I at the end of the second element. One of the things we're not gonna do though is we're not gonna solve it as if it was a type one or type two. So we're not gonna solve it that way. We're not gonna use charges. There's no charges here because there's no ions. So they're just sharing electrons. So we can have any combination. So we can't just have uh, the name of the, the the uh, positive ion because there's no positive ions. They would be all negative ions, but they're sharing, so there's no ionic charge to begin with. So we're going to use prefixes. So notice that we have our prefixes right here. So we see we have all of our prefixes, uh, 1 through 10. Okay, and those prefixes uh, go are pretty simple. And if you can't memorize them, you need to put a copy somewhere. They're in your packet. You should be able to figure out where they're at relatively quickly. Now, again, in your packet, if I would just scroll down, I would uh, see right where they're at. They're just right there on this page right there. You see that they're already highlighted. Uh, but if we look at it, that's page 14. So they're on page 14. Now, the rule might be a little bit different than what I'm talking about right here, but basically it's the same thing. Uh, so we're going to put a prefix for each and every element with one exception that we never use mono on the first element. So if there's only one uh, of that first element, we never use mono. If there's any other number, like if they have two of them, we yes, we're gonna use di, tri, and all those other but we never use mono on the first one, but we do use mono on the second one. So let's go ahead and go to one right here. We have this one right here, we have CCl4. Okay, now if we don't know what they stand for, let's go ahead and look at our periodic table. So let's go back up here to our periodic table. And as we get up through our periodic table, again, remember we're talking about above the staircase. C is right here, so we, that's carbon. And then Cl is chlorine. Okay, so let's go back to it. So we're going to have one carbon. So we're going to come over here. And one carbon, normally I would, I would say, oh, i got to put mono in front of it. Remember, these are prefixes. But the third rule says never use mono in the first element. So we're just going to write that out as carbon. And then we go to the second element, Cl, if you remember what that was. That was chlorine. Okay, so we're going to put chlorine down, but we have to put a prefix with it. Now, what's the prefix? The prefix is this number right here. So we have to look at that number, and then we go up to our list of prefixes, and we see that 4 is tetra. So we're going to put down here tetra, and then we're going to put chloride, uh, because we're going to name it, again, the same as we do with the uh, type 1 and type 2, the ionic ones, as far as the name of the first one and then the second one. So we're always going to have the name of the first one, and then we're going to have uh, I at the end of the second one. So that's, again, how we name it. So it's carbon, and there's no mono because it's the first one, and then we're using this rule right here. And then we have tetra is equal to this 4 right here, and then chloride is the, the compound that we're using. So, and, but we had, remember, we changed it from chlorine to chloride. Let's go just the opposite way. So now I have diphosphorus decoxide. Okay, now here's the thing. I have phosphorus. So we're going to come over here and we're going to write down phosphorus. Well, do you know what phosphorus is the symbol for phosphorus? Well, 
I don't know. Let's double check it. We always should double check it. So we go down over here and we find above the staircase, there is phosphorus. It is P. So I'm going to go back to this right here and we're going to put down P. Now it says at the beginning, the prefix is die. Well, what is die? Die, go, let's go back up here. Die is two. So we'll go back down here and we're going to put a subscript of two. Okay. Now we're going to do deca oxide or deca oxide. We take away the A because of the two vowel, vowels that are there. Okay, so we have deca oxide. And so what is oxide? Well, oxide reverts back to oxygen. Let's see what the symbol for oxygen is. It's O. So let's go back over here, and we're going to put a large uh, capital O. But we have DEC. DEC is 10, if we look at that. So we're going to put 10 down there as a subscript. And there's our formula for phosphorus. Decoxide. Hey, hopefully you understood how to do our type 3 uh, nomenclature that are covalent. Hey, and as always, uh, go Mohawks. Nelson out.